Hey guys, Horatio here with another BotCon exclusive Transformers review. If you guys saw my Toxitron review, link here. We were not able to go to BotCon this year, but fellow Bay Area Transformers nerd Seth Buzzard from the WTF at TFW podcast hooked us up with three awesome, awesome exclusives. Today we're going to be going over Shattered Glass Thundercracker, who is casually known as um, Action Master Thundercracker, since his paint job is an homage to the Action Master Thundercracker. What you guys will gradually find out over the course of the next couple months, I am getting hecka obsessed with Transformers Action Masters. I think they are the most amazing, adorable, awesome things ever. I love them. I have this rapidly expanding collection going on right now. I'll be reviewing those coming up. They are just the coolest things in the world. Um, so I was very, very delighted that this guy came out and that he is that homage. He's just totally great. Love him to pieces. Shattered Glass Thundercracker was a character in the BotCon Shattered Glass comic series. Um, an interesting point, last year at BotCon 2010, Shattered Glass Thundercracker was going to be the attendee freebie figure, but Hasbro was currently using the mold, which was originally the classic Starscream mold. They were using the mold for Generations Thrust, so it was unavailable. So he was put on the shelf and then available for purchase, packaged with Gal uh, Shattered Glass Galvatron this year at BotCon. He's a very, very cool figure. I'm super fond of him. If you can't tell, I'm very excited about him. So, let's take a look-see at him and see what all he can do. And here we are with Thundercracker in vehicle mode. You can see he's very, very pretty. Very brightly painted. If we flip him around, you see a lot of his robot parts showing through. Let's bring him up close. So Thundercracker has a lot of very, very nice molding. Get a glare on there, you can see all of the molding that's in there. And unlike a lot of molds, this mold has been used well over 10 times, around 11 times in the United States alone. Um, and unlike other molds, there's not a lot of mold degradation after so many uses. We still have these wonderful details, and all of his joints are just fantastically tight. This is a great piece, and he's definitely one of the most popular of all of the BotCon exclusives. Everybody's kind of out to get him. Flip him around and get a good look. On the bottom, we see his missile launchers right there. Very, very beautiful piece. Just, just fantastically detailed, fantastically molded. So now that you've seen him up close, let's go ahead and get him transformed into robot mode. And here we have him in robot mode. You can see he's got a very nice gold paint job on the head. That is gold paint, not gold plastic. So we don't have to worry about gold plastic syndrome. His head sculpt is just fantastically beautiful. I'm very, very fond of it. And all of the, the molding, as I pointed out, when he's in his vehicle mode is just gorgeous. Another clever detail is his Decepticon logo. The logo is just the white outline, leaving the red underneath to indicate he is shattered glass. But they didn't have to add red paint there. He got his missile launchers on his arms. Let's take a look at him from behind. See all those details? Um, one thing to point out is that owners of Henke Thundercracker from Japan will remember that there was an issue with its legs being very loose. That issue has clearly been resolved with this guy. His leg joints are nice and tight. Uh, the only one issue that we've noticed on ours is there's kind of a seam split going on right here. And if you flip him up, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it. You can see that right here 
the seam split goes all the way through into the blue part that tucks down inside of his leg. So it's likely an assembly problem with ours and not an issue of mold degradation. Worth pointing out though, so nobody's seeing that going, ugh. But he is just fantastically gorgeous. He's got very nice little bit of gold paint right in here on these uh, blade, rotor blades, propeller blades right there. Very nice, the clear plastic. All of the details are just gorgeous. And for comparison's sake, we'll take out Classics Thundercracker. You can kind of share right here. You can see where the paint differs. Exact same mold. Exceptionally beautiful, though. So just an exceptionally beautiful piece. I can't recommend him enough. And as I mentioned before, he is one of the more popular of this year's BotCon exclusives. So he will be. Worth trying to come by quickly, because a lot of people are going to be trying to get him into their collection.